Hi, I'm Billy, and this is Knox Machining. Welcome to the shop. Hey everyone, welcome back. Well today we're going to be starting a new project. We're going to be making some machine skates so that we can move this lathe toward that wall uh, about three to four feet so that we have better access to the new uh, mill that's over my left hand shoulder here. We had some three quarter inch by eight inch wide steel plate donated to us and I've already rough cut it and I have a piece sitting here on the mill uh, ready to machine down to four inches in width. Uh, to accommodate that, I broke out the new Kurt vise. The old vise was not able to handle the 8 inch wide piece of metal, uh, but this new one can. So let's take a look and see how this goes. Okay, so I have my rough cut piece here in the Kurt vise. Um, I've done two of these off camera and I've got two more to go. Uh, I'm just going to clean up one edge and then later on we're going to use the vise stop and uh, clean up the other one so that we don't have to edge find multiple times. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on and put some oil on. Come in and touch off. There we go. I'm gonna zero out the X and I'm gonna come in about Fifty thousandths. There we go. Get a nice conventional cut here. Take a quick measurement. I should have done that before. I don't have very much to clean up on the other side. Um, that's all I can do. All right, I'm gonna do about a two thou finish pass. y'all back for the next step. So I've installed the 500 thousandths edge finder and I've got my part back in here and I've uh, flipped it over so that the side that I just milled is on this side. I'm going to find that edge and I've also set this uh, vice stop right here so that I won't have to find the edge on these other three parts that I have to do. So let's go ahead and find the edge for this one. Turn it on. Right and slowly. Stop. Zero out X. Back it off. And we're going to repeat this process. And we're good, all right. I'm gonna drop it down. Now, since I want four inches here, I need to compensate for this edge finder. So I'm gonna come in half the distance, which is uh, 250 thousandths. And I'll zero out X. And then I'm gonna dial in four inches. Okay, there's four inches. And I'm using a five eighths inch cutter, so I need to compensate for that. We'll come over 625 thousandths additional. Zero out X. I'm gonna lock X now. All right, now I'm gonna put my five eighths cutter back in. Okay, so I'm ready to do this cut. Um, I'm gonna do a conventional cut here, and I'm gonna leave myself uh, five thousandths to, for a cleanup pass. 
go ahead and get started. Go ahead and take that finished pass. I'm going to do this as a climb cut. Speed that up a little bit. All right, that should do it. I'm gonna do this three more times and then I'll bring y'all back for the next step. Okay, so I've put my edge finder back in here and I need to find the uh, edge of the back jaw. So let's go ahead and do that. Clear out Y. Do it again. Yeah. All right. Okay, so we're back. Uh, what I've got here is a spotting drill or a V bit. Uh, can be used for both. This is a two flute. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch off on top of this material. I'm gonna come over and I'm just gonna gently bring the quill down on top. Right there. I'm gonna zero out the knee. I'm gonna drop it down just a bit. Bring it over. And what I've done is I've, uh, after I did that edge find operation, I've come in 750 thousandths off the back jaw and I set uh, the SDM one page in my DRO uh, at zero, and then I set another uh, SDM page, number two, at uh, 6.5 inches and zeroed it out. So I don't have to uh, remember uh, my measurements here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring the knee up, and bring it up about 20 thousandths. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mill a little V groove in here for the axles to lay in so that when we weld them, uh, they won't roll around on us. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, for this one, we're gonna want some really high RPM, I believe. that not bad I do want to go a little bit deeper let's take it to 50 thousandths there's 50 thousandths Pretty good. Let's 
check with the shaft and see how well it pressed in there. Mm. Eh, it needs to be a little bit deeper than that. That's better. I think that'll do. Let's see. Yeah, that's what we want. Just something so that uh, the shaft won't go anywhere. All right, so we're gonna do it at six and a half inches. We're just gonna come the other way. I'm gonna make this in two passes. I think that's a bit much for that bit. I'm gonna drop it down to 500 thousandths. Okay, there was 50 thousandths pass. Bring it up to 100 thousandths. three more of these to do. I'll finish those up and I'll bring y'all back for the next operation. Okay, we're back from that previous operation. Uh, next thing we need to do is drill some holes in the skates uh, so that we can put some wood screws up through there uh, to attach some two by fours in case we want some uh, wood padding on top. Uh, normally would spot drill, but I'm using these stubby drill bits and I have found that I do not need to with this for these particular drill bits. So we're just gonna go ahead and punch the holes. Let's get going. Okay. I'm switching to SDM page two. I set this one up for my hole pattern. Just drive it to zero. Drill the next hole. All right, that's done. Now we're going to go ahead and countersink these. Slow it down a little bit. There we go. And now we're just gonna go back around and hit each one of these. Got it. Uh, I'm gonna do this three more times, and uh, the next thing we'll have to do is do some lathe work. Well, everyone, that's about all the time we have for this video. Be sure to check back for part two of this series, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thumbs up and comments are appreciated, and don't forget to ring the bell.